everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI brains uh, so last class we have actually discussed about uh, uh, types of functions right uh, so that's all mostly we have focus on uh, uh, functional oriented programming and from now we're gonna focus on object oriented programming so first in this uh, we have to understand what exactly mean by the object oriented programming okay so first let's start with here object um, oriented programming okay so actually this is yeah this is actually uh, the easiest programming in this world okay so uh, the programming languages like java dot net uh, typescript c plus plus this all actually comes under the object oriented programming so before that we have a functional oriented programming just like c language and even javascript mostly uh, functional oriented programming okay and before that we have a assembly language programming like pascal copal okay so like uh, in the era of programming so we have a different different uh, uh, eras has come like uh, uh, different different generations of programming has come the way first generation is assembly language programming and later we got uh, a functional programming and now we got uh, object oriented programming so why this era has come is they want to simplify the way you write a program okay it's just exactly correlated to uh, how the real world objects are getting created okay so what is exactly the meaning of object oriented programming okay so it means what is object objects means uh, anything is an object just like camera is an object laptop is an object a person is an object like anything is just light TV what what not anything is an object okay so how the real world objects are getting constructed I mean how the real world objects are getting manufactured the same way your program should correlate that's why object oriented programming so the programming which depends on how objects are really getting constructed uh, in a best example uh, let's take one car of uh, so and so company and same model same car okay let's take at least two cars okay so two cars same model same company uh, if you keep the two cars side by side uh, will you see any difference I mean uh, any tire size is different or steering size is different or any uh, like uh, width the height and ground clearance anything is different no because these two are car objects has created or manufactured based on certain structure so the same story in programming also so we have to create an object based on a certain structure of physical design okay so in object oriented programming we have uh, various concepts like interfaces classes and objects so interface is just for the rules okay so what are all the properties should be there for an object suppose you want to construct an object uh, what are all the rules will be there okay and also for that what are all the methods to be implemented so they, they will make a uh, a list of uh, things uh, that's uh, that is interface okay uh, no implementation just only declaration or rules uh, then then we have to make a implementation of it so the actual uh, prototype we have to make it so that is called as a class so class will implement all the rules which you have defined in the interface okay and based on that you know class structure blueprint we are going to generate an object and the object which is generated from the class structure so that is exactly similar how many number of objects you're gonna create for the same class structure okay so they just want to exactly correlate the real world things with the programming that's where you know object oriented programming has come and here you have a lot of rules okay uh, so we have uh, in inheritance polymorphism uh, encapsulation and uh, too many things getters setters constructor uh, child class parent class like too many things are there so we're gonna start one by one okay so that's all very basic thing about uh, object oriented programming and let's see how object oriented programming works in the real world okay so thank you so much for watching let's meet in the next video thank you